In this particular video, we'll be showing Canva settings and all the options in Canva settings so that in future you don't have to get stuck in between because if you are using any platform, you have to know each and everything about that. Maybe you want to switch into Canva Pro in future. But for that, you need to know all the settings, all the options which are available in Canva platform, right? So, hey guys, welcome back to Marketing Funders Global. This is the fourth video in this Canva course. And in this video, we are going to show you Canva account settings and features. So this is going to be short and simple video. Watch till the end. Let's get into the video directly. So we are into our Canva account right now guys. Now let's just directly go to account settings. Click on this icon over here. Once you click here, this is the account setting option. And here is the all settings which we are going to discuss about. Okay, so first of all, if you want to change your profile picture, you can just, uh, you just have to click on this change photo and you will be able to change the photo. Okay, there is no any rocket science in it. This is the name you can change or the email if you want to change. Now, here, what will you be uh, using Canva for? Okay, so as you know, we have selected personal here and in my previous video i have told you that if you are signing up or if you are using canva as a student then it will give you some extra template for free so it is better to switch to student as a student so that we can get extra uh, features extra templates it is also saying that uh, we are tailoring your experience to best suit your need as a student you can change this at any time so yes you can change this at any time but for now let's go with students then you can set language as well if you want to disconnect your google account you can you can do that as well then here insights opt out for insight collections so if you don't want to count your view as a countable insight then you can opt out from this okay or you can read this once as well insights give design owner information about how other people interact with their designs if you would prefer your interaction not to be collected and include in others people's design insight you can opt out so as i've already told you that right so if you want to opt out yourself as a people who interacts with the design you can opt out then we can choose the theme uh, we got two options mainly light and dark otherwise you can sync with the system so uh, it is basically automatic when your system is in dark mode your canva will be in the dark mode and when your system is in light mode your canva will be automatically into the light mode so these are some basic features then we got some accessibility features shortcut require modifier single key shortcut require to use of the alt modifier key so you can use some extra or you can set uh, shortcuts as well then we got high color contrast option you can set the contrast level then here we got one more option autoplay videos so right now it is on use my system preference but if you want you can change it to autoplay videos on or autoplay videos off right then linking opening then link opening open link in desktop app so if you have the desktop version of canva and there is a, a link in that particular file or any project then where that link should be open in the browser or in the desktop app itself so this option is for that this was about your account only then we got login and security options so in login and secur security options we got uh, one useful option th and that is this like sign out from all devices for example we logged in our account into many devices and that will be shown here okay and if you want to sign up from any particular device you can do that from here otherwise you can directly sign out from all devices because see right now we don't have anything in, in our account it is a new beginning it is a new beginning and basically we are totally new in canva but as we grow in canva as we design day by day in canva our account gets precious and maybe our business gets dependent in this particular account okay so in that phase or in that particular case we have to save our account okay so keep that thing in mind you have signed up into only a reliable and mm, you can say safe systems okay then if you want to download the canva uploads which you have uploaded in canvas uh, system you can download that as well and this is the account deletion button if you want to otherwise there is no point of deleting your canva account right then we got email preference if you want to remove or if you want to opt out from these emails 
you can do that basically these are marketing emails what's new and design school achievement and milestone recommendation design challenges so these are the five types of marketing emails which canvas sent you to your email, right if you want to opt out you can do that as well then this was about these three options then in the personal option we got people if you want to add or invite more people into your account so that they can edit or see or you can uh, they can interact with your design they'll be able to do that you just have to add invite or uh, you just have to add people here okay then we got billing option you can add your card or you can add see all the billing related things over here okay and if you are if you have a canva team account then you can create and if you want to go with pro canva team account then you can click on this button or otherwise there are many options to switch into canva team okay you can directly click here and here you'll be able to switch into canva team okay now in purchase history you see all the purchases you have done or all the uh, payments you have done here okay and if you have connected any domain you'll be able to see here basically this is for when you design website in canva and you have connected your website with canva then you'll be able to see this otherwise you don't have any domains so it is showing you don't have it uh, have any domains once you publish a website you'll be you'll find your domain right here so as i already told you so this was about the settings all the main settings in canva i hope you understood each and everything whether it is related to billing or whether it is related to canva account security i hope you like the video if you do so please hit that subscribe and like button and if you still have any question or query please comment down below i'll answer those questions in the comment section itself so that's it for this video guys we'll meet you in the next video till then bye bye